She might not have started in the industry as a designer, but Luella Bartley is now thrilling audiences around the world with her funky and feminine creations. Originally, Bartley was a journalist and editor of Dazed and Confused magazine and British Vogue. But after graduating from Central St. Martin's College of Art and Design, she decided to trade writing and editing for fashion to designing fashion. She established her own label in 1999 entitled Luella and displayed her first collection called Daddy I Want a Pony. After receiving Britain's Young Designer of the Year award, she debuted her show Daddy Who Were the Clash at London Fashion Week and became known for her girly punk style. She then took her catwalk shows to New York for a number of years and, like few others on the planet, was in touch with the young fashion-conscious girls. And whether it was a bathing suit that hugs a girl's hips or a black leather dress that would stun a crowd on any corner of the world, Bartley's fashion stand head and shoulders above the crowd. Showing her spring-summer 2002 collection at New York's Bryant Park, she drew inspiration from American Indian motifs with furry-looking headdresses and long suede dresses. Her mini skirts were as high as they could go, and leggings stretch far beyond what one would traditionally expect. Denim mini skirts and dresses and a variety of cowboy boots were just some of the amazing combinations that put her head and heels above the rest. Her fall collection was described as cool, hip and sexy and introduced 70s-inspired mini dresses, short denim trench coats and corduroy jumpsuits, as well as huge shoulder bags and retro crocheted shawls. Micro mini sweater dresses with high turtlenecks were big, as were short sailor-inspired navy dresses with white trim and schoolgirl skirts with side pleats. It is said that Luella's number one obsession is to design the perfect pair of jeans, and her obsession with denim continued into the next year, along with her version of spontaneous fun. Early January 2006, Bartley was chosen to introduce Target's Go International line, where each season a different fashion designer creates the line, which is only available for 90 days. After six years away from the London scene, Bartley returned to show at the London Fashion Week Spring-Summer 2008 season and timed it to coincide with the opening of her store on London's Brook Street. Helping to show off Bartley's designs was rising star Agnes Dean, one of the fashion industry's new school of models. Mixing traditional English touches like flower prints on dresses and evening gowns and mismatched pieces with punk to give her clothes a young and hip feel, she showed the world once again with a collection that was inspired by England that her imagination can still put on the style. Everything comes from England for me, you know, I, every, everything I'm inspired by is English, the London, the music scene, the, you know, the heritage of England, so it just, it's great to show in Claridge's in London, you know, it's, it's, it's perfect for me. Early 2008, lovers of the fashion world were presented with Bartley's darker side, with a collection recreating a Cornish fantasy world, complete with pixie hats and witch dresses. Singer Lily Allen and Kelly Osborne, daughter of rock star Ozzy Osborne, joined a packed audience to see her autumn-winter 2008 collection, which included high-waisted trousers and short dresses with bell-style layered skirts. Colors progressed from girly peach to gothic black, with an interspersing of fairy tale red and green combinations. Still probably considered to many as a newcomer to the fashion industry, she has gone on to gain a list of celebrity friends who love wearing her feminine creations, from Chloe Sevigny in her pink Luella dress, to Cameron Diaz gracefully wearing a black strapless mini. So from journalist and editor of one of the world's most famous fashion magazines, to one of the world's most famous fashion designers, it seems British Luella Bartley is here to stay on the fashion scene.